Yeah, I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, to win the title here in Charleston after really diff difficult weeks that I had. And um, yeah, I'm feeling great. I mean, I had last year four finals and I didn't won one. So it's great to, to won actually this tournament. I mean, it's a great week for me here. Everybody's so nice. And um, I'm really happy about my, my game plan, about my game which I really played good, I think, the last few days here. And, um, yeah, I'm just happy to won the title. You fell behind 4-1 in that final set. Coach comes out. First of all, what was discussed? And then second of all, what did you execute to put Madison on her heels and come back for that big rally for the championship? Yeah, he was coming to me and just said, you know, just relax and just play point by point. I mean, um, just believe in yourself and uh, just go for it. And I just try it because it was really hard to break her. She really served well today. So I was just trying to focus on every single point, like he told me. And I think that was the best advice he gives me. Going forward, how significant and important is this victory for your career? I think it's really important. I mean, uh, to win here in Charleston, it feels great. I mean, it, I had a great week, and everybody's so nice. And um, yeah, I think it, it's it's my fourth title, so um, yeah, it's for sure a special one for me. Angie, how different was this match from the one in Eastbourne? I guess how does Clay change things? How how different was her game? Yeah, I think uh, of course it was a little bit different because grass and clay is they are like really different surfaces. But um, I knew before that it will be a tough match, and uh, she's a great player. She, yeah, she served amazing today, and I was just trying to, yeah, like I said, be aggressive. And she's a talented player, and uh, for sure um, she have also a great future. How do, how do you think she is on clay? Because I think a lot of people were surprised that she made. A final on clay. You know, I think she's really dangerous on clay. Like uh, we, we, yeah, like we see. I mean, um, she had a great serve and also the first second shot, um, are amazing from her. So I think she is also very dangerous on clay. Angelie, she had not been broken uh, on all week, and then you come out in the first serve and you, you get her a couple of times. Did you see? Did you see something uh, in your studies, in your preparation? that gave you an idea that maybe you could take advantage of something? You know, actually, um, I was not thinking about this. I was just trying to focus on myself and try to, um, yeah, try to hit the balls deep and to just get to every single ball because, um, yeah, this is my game. And I was more focusing on my game than on her. But, um, yeah, she's a great surfer and um, amazing player. Angelique, it seemed like you were able to capitalize her on her errors in that first set, but it seemed like as the match went on, especially when you made that comeback, there was some more aggressiveness on to, on your part. Do you think it's because you were behind? Do you think because both y'all were getting tired? But it just seemed like there might have been a little bit of a change in your approach there as you started uh, coming back. Yeah, I think um, in the third set, I was just trying then when I came back to be more aggressive and uh, just going for it because um, in the second set, I was just trying to just hope, and uh, she was going for it in the important moments. And I was in the third set just telling to myself, you know, just go for it and uh, just try. And I did it. So um, I think that was the key at the end that I just was going for it. Um, I don't know. I think I had really from the first day I came here, it was feeling great and everybody was so friendly. So I think every single match was important for me. I mean, after the first round um, where I won it, I think, um, and then every single match, I mean, it was not the moment that makes click. I mean, also yesterday against Andrea, I mean, it was a very tough match and also against a very close friend. It was not easy, but... Um, I, I think every single day was important for me here in Charleston. Uh, at times today, it looked almost as though Madison had two opponents, you and the wind. Can you talk a little bit about your experience playing in the wind? Um, you know, it was a little bit, but I think I was not focusing on this. I was just, you know, in my game, and uh, I was focusing on the ball and just trying to get my game plan done and um, yeah and I think this was also very important to stay um, yeah focusing on myself. Angie we know about her serve and her forehand but her backhand in the second set was particularly good. What makes that shot difficult to defend? 
You know, um, it's difficult because she hit the ball so hard and so flat, so it's um, difficult to get the ball back. And you need to, yeah, to move very well because she is just hitting, and if you are too short, she is just going for it. So um, I think the back end is also very dangerous from her. And have you seen improvements in her game from Eastbourne to here? From Edison? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think uh, she is more a consistent player right now, and uh, she is going for it. I think she is also very confident right now. So um, I think it was also like a very good high-class match today. And speaking of confidence, now you're going to head to Sochi. So is this you need, did you need this before you went to go and, and play Maria and the Russians? You know, I think it was very important for me this week, and I will go there with a lot of confidence right now, and um, I'm looking forward to the week. I mean, it's always nice with the girls, and um, I hope we will get a very success weekend um, in Sochi. And how, how are you uh, fatigue level-wise? Andrea was saying that obviously all the matches she's been playing, she feels it. But after this week, how are you feeling? You know, of course, I'm feeling a little bit tired because you get from hard to clay, so it's a little bit different. And you, you are running just much more than on hard. But um, I'm feeling not bad. I mean, I have now like few days off, so let's see. And um, yeah, but it's OK, everything. That's good. <laughs> Continuing along the lines of the Fed Cup, you are you're the second German woman to win this title, and you are now going to go into Fed Cup with some confidence. Can you talk about that, please? Yeah, I think uh, we have a great team right now, and um, I think they are, we have so many great German players, and we are all looking forward to the Fed Cup next weekend. And um, yeah, I think um, we all enjoy it. So. It's always nice on the court and also off court with all of the girls and with all the team. It, it, it sounds like talking talking to you this week that you had some high expectations for what you could do on clay. Uh, does this up your your expectation level of what you might be able to achieve now in this clay court season because you've been successful? Yeah, here. you know, actually. Um, it was never my favorite surface, but um, it's it's changed in the last of the years. So I knew that I can play also on clay, and uh, it's I think good also for my game because I playing like defensive and also being aggressive. So to mix it on clay, it's um, I think not bad. And uh, let's see and looking forward to the next of the clay court tournaments. You're the third German to win here since 09, Sabine. Andrea last year, and then you. And each time those two won, it seemed like they had a big season. It wasn't just clay. It carried over throughout the rest of the year. So do you see that happening, or is it just one of those things where you just hope, but you have the confidence now that it could happen, not just for clay, but for the whole year? You no, know, of, of course I will hope for sure. But um, I think I have the confidence also. I mean, I worked very hard in the last few weeks. and. Uh, Every single match here I played very good, so I'm looking forward and I think I have for sure the confidence that um, the next tournament will be going good too.